Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 29 of Skyrim on the PlayStation 5 in glorious 60 FPS. We are exactly where we're at the end of part 28 and we are heading towards our quest people which is missing in action. Not too far away from it. A cave right next to us. Could be doing with getting discovered. Out. Rimarock Burrow. Oh. Tell you what, we're gonna have a shit ton of stuff when we finally come to do all of the <laughs> all of these things. Also, I was talking in the last part about a quest with a dog in it that leads you on a big mission and you end up where I ended up in the last play I did on the... What the fuck are they? Uh, okay, I'm going to keep my healing on actually because I have no idea what the fuck's going to happen here. Fuck a gargoyles, where did they come from? Never seen them in my life. Holy shit. Pretty sure that's the first time I've come across them in this playthrough. I don't remember them ever at all. Anyway, before I was rudely scared the shit out of, <laughs> there's a quest with a dog. You, you, you got to find a dog. And how the hell do we get down this mountain, people? Map. Or do we have to go through the barrow to get down there? Mm, maybe. Find a way to release their out of blah. Hmm. Okay, well maybe it's a case of having to go through that barrow to get there then. Or maybe not. Fucking hell, scare the shit out of me that bunny rabbit there. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Hmm. This could lead me on a merry path of just being blocked anyway, look. There are caves in this section, though. Anyway, I have found out where that... It's in Falkreath, and the reason that we've not come across it yet is because it's the one of the very few places I've not actually been. When I looked at the map, it's not it's not been discovered yet, Falkreath. This could end really badly. Let's try it anyway. It's taking a massive shortcut here. So, at some point very soon, I think we'll do that quest because at the end of that quest, Clavicus Vale is it, I think, that you meet up with and stuff, and you do the quest for them. There's a big building over there. You end up with a, a, a hooded mask thing, much like the one we got in the last part. Steep Fall Barrow. Uh, 
Uh, that being said, the, the mask that he does give you, I'm forget. I just remember it being, I think, pretty awesome when it came to Magic Regen. I think that's why I was so keen on it. A harbour kicking around these parts. Has Lydia found a way to me? No. Wolves! Or free leather, as I like to call them. <laughs> Boot in the face! There's a tower of some description. Up on yonder hill. Could be out of our reach though, to be fair. Just keep heading the right way. Yes, this rings a bell from my PS3 playthrough many years ago. Walrus. I'm assuming a walrus won't hurt me if I don't hurt it. Blimey, it got very calm down here. Hello, Mr. Warris. No, I'm not going to hurt you. Just saying hello. Uh, actually, might go and discover the old ye old harbour bit up here, though. Oh, just, uh, yeah. Hi, Lydia. You found a way to me. That's his das place. Orphan's tear. Or tear. There's somebody over there, look. Oh. Yeah, they don't like us. Come on, then. Dare ya. Dare ya hit me. Ooh, did it as well. You got him, Lydia? Oh, he's a high woman, that one. Might be quite difficult. Oh! Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Spell Tomb of Mage Light. Oh, we didn't have it. Nice work. Uh, we do now have to do a quick visit back to Whiterun. I know you love to do it with me. I could have technically got away with doing it off camera, but I wasn't... <laughs> I hadn't finished the part anywhere where I could teleport back to was the problem. However, we can teleport directly back to here. And it is, I think, a pretty quick sell as well, because it's a lot of orcish weapons and a bunch of potions, I think. But we are very maxed out on the, the weight. And dragon, yeah, dragon bones to put in our chests. Nice. Four lock picks, uh, thank you. That's quite cool, wasn't it? Yeah, so we can go straight back to there. Let's have a quick dive back. Now then, well, you see, I've got the Speechcraft Nexus, haven't I? Which is going to get me sales prices probably even better. Does it, though? Is it only the perks that do that? Get your prices better. Let's put it on anyway. Look, I keep telling you guys, stop loitering. I've dealt with your kind already. You can just get out of here. <laughs> She's not going to come back with you because your boss is dead. I've killed him.
Right, I think first job, let's get the dragon bones dumped because just want to make sure we're not carrying them about. Otherwise I'll forget. Although, before we do that... Uh, everyone keeps telling me I'm looking sick as well. Let's sort that out. Can store the ingots as well for some off-camera blacksmithing later on. Oh, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. No lolly gagging. Dragon bone. Bloody pelts, I forgot about those. Lydia, come here. Still here. How can I serve you, my thane? You can give me all this stuff you're carrying. Yeah, I, don't, I need to make her a bow that's possibly orcish or something because she doesn't use the bloody... Oh, here's a thought. What if I give her the... I think I've got a bow in here. No, Steve. Weapons. Orcish bow. Damage of 11. It's, it's hardly anything, though, compared to the one I've given her. But she just won't use it. Flawless Elven Bow, yeah, 22 damage. Can't figure out why she won't use that bow. She doesn't like Elven stuff full stop, to be fair. So it could be I need to make her a steel one. Lead on. Or whatever uh, whatever the best one I can do is. Can't bloody walk. Bloody Habs remains. I'm pretty sure I don't need them. Oh, it is a quest item. I knew it was. Bloody knew it was a quest item, that Habs remains. Let's get rid of the ingots. And the ore. Or They're quite good at hiding themselves with bloody ingots and ores. Get halfway up the road and realise you've got twenty fucking ingots of some description in your in your backpack. Okay. Well, I could sell half of this shit, we don't need that. Right, before we go selling anything, let's stick our necklace on that we've just got. Hella jump. We need to make sure we put our other necklace back on after, though. And make sure we don't sell this one. Because I forgot to rename it, and it's just called Silver Necklace. Mind you, destruction spells cost 8% less to cast. Isn't that great now? Because uh, I can probably do one that's better. I think we upgraded our enchantment. Enchantment. No, oh, no. Fucking hell. Why are you not at work? It's fucking 850, man. We've got small weapon. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Looking to sell you some shit, my friend. Uh, you can have an ebony sword for three, five, six. You can have an orcish orcish dart. I'm not picking them up anymore. They're only worth fifty. The orcish bow's not that great either. Seventy-four. Uh, two orcish war axes. It's no wonder I'm bloody weighed down. Thirteen each. Warhammer, and that's 26 on its own. Right. I 
Dwarven bolts, well, I don't use them. They don't weigh anything though, do they? Get rid. Uh, well, actually, I'll hang on to them in case we happen to pick something up that I want to try out. Uh, we're going to try and collapse those quickly, I think. I'm going to get rid of those. Oh, I should have put that in there. Oh, prices are 20% better. Fucking hell. <laughs> I've used it. I realised that just after I've used the bloody necklace, thinking that was what I wanted to put on. Right. The problem is they've not got enough coin anyway. I mean, I'm already up to 11. They're nearly 12,000. And that's it. Good doing business with you. And you, my friend. I like him. He doesn't get stroppy with me like Belithor does. You're Just out of curiosity. I like that. Yeah, there's not a a steel bow, is there? Oh, you can make steel arrows. Didn't know that. So... If she won't use the elven bow, will she use anything else? The, oh, the Nordic bow. That looks badass, doesn't it? Didn't know that existed. Starts on 15. Same as the Elven one. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's try. How, what do we need? Three steel ingots and a quicksilver. Fuck's sake. It would be bloody quicksilver, wouldn't it? She won't sell me it, probably. I don't claim. Take a look. Oh, she has. Nice work. I'm just going to take them all off your hands. Thank you very much. And I think it was three steel ingots, was it? Don't forget to check inside the shop. I got your back. No, stop it. Lead on. Snow bear pelt two. We've got another two of those. Put those in our chest. Right, let's see if she'll use the Nordic bow then. Oh, Nordic arrows as well, nice. You need Quicksilver ingots to make those though. Sweet ass uh, holder for them. Oh, fucking hell. It's a nice sword as well. Nordic Sword's pretty badass, isn't it? Got me on a mission now. Oh, we're using the magical one anyway, to be I fair. But. You think all the counts the finest weapons and armor? The axe is quite smart as well, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we've not got a bladesman perk though for the swords. Make one of each. I'm not going to though, because I want to do them up, don't I? The problem is, I don't, I don't think I have a blacksmith in draft at the moment. More inside. I can get it to flawless, but not epic. 
That's 28. How come I can do Elven to Epic? Mind you, that goes up to 28. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Ah, oh, yeah, it's 30. The sword's 30. Because it's epic. And the bow's 24. Yeah. I'd need a... I need to get the blacksmithing up, or I need a blacksmithing draft. So I think we're going to come back and do this at another time. I can do it off camera and then show you afterwards. Hang on a minute, is that an ebony? Oh, I thought it was ebony bow there. Just out of curiosity, though, did I, do I actually have a potion of blacksmithing or whatever it's called? I think I bought it off the woman in the shop, actually, now I think about it. Just get another one off her if she gets them back. Right, let's crack on. Let's get the last few bits sold and out of our inventory. <clears throat> Nearly at level 27 as well. Move out the way, dude. Are you divine smile on you, friend? Come on, dude, why use a table? Right, created potions we can get destroyed. And increases magic resistance by 10%. I thought so. I thought we could get both of them. Awesome. Now, just out of curiosity, if we do... Let's do it on that one first. Destruction spells cost 8%. Oh, really? It's still 8%, even though I've upgraded it. It's a bit annoying. I thought it was going to be higher because we'd upgraded our... You know, we've got the aptitude. Oh, there you go. Destruction spells cost 10% less to cast. As opposed to the eight, I think we've got on at the minute. That's six. I wonder why it was saying eight. It says ten now, anyway. Let's do that then. And actually, let's name it Destruction something. Destruction necklace seems reasonable, doesn't it? Oh, level up and ride your pony! I tell you what's really annoying. <laughs> what's really annoying is I bet we can do it even higher now that we've just done that. If I was actually to level up the the thing again. I'll tell you what, before we do it, let's save it. Let's have a proper one. Not a proper one for a while. Um. 
Well, I feel like our health's actually being hurt by something we've got on us. I think it is 200. I'm going to go Magicka again. Just feeling that way inclined. Right, we're still whatever there, but I think we can do another one where we can. To 40% stronger. I think we're on 20% at the moment. However, the thing that's putting me off doing that is one-handed can go up to 80% more damage. And light armor can go up as well, if I remember rightly. Oh no, we took unhindered, didn't we? So that's done. Stamina regenerates 50% faster in all light armor, head, chest, hands, feet. That's handy as well. Can't have it yet, though. There was something else. There was something else that we were going to do. It's not that yet. Yeah, we've started using that to try and get adept, haven't we? Half magic up. Right, okay. Well, I think uh, it might be worth just doing the... Could have sworn there was something else. But at the moment, it looks like enchanting and one-handed. Considering the sword that we're using, I think I might do the enchanted while we're at. Might as well make the most of it. I think it was just a case of there was so much of this to do, wasn't it? Enchanting 50... F yeah, because we've got 54 and only need 30 to get up to these ones. Fire enchantments on weapons are 25% stronger. Skill enchantments. Soul gem capture... Soul gems provide extra magicka for recharging. Anyway, right, let's uh, let's just get the enchanter up. Bloody typical, after I've just bloody wasted a soul gem. Anyway, a bloody grand at that, a grand soul gem. Wow, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's disenchant, Steve. Well, as it happens, we've only got a... Well, we've got a silver necklace right enough. And we can do... Fortify Destruction. <laughs> it's only 11%. 1% more. What? How does that work? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Just having a thought though, just to check that I haven't got an enchanter's pilfer or something in mean potions. Oh, we have as well. Look. 60 seconds items are enchanted 20% longer, uh, stronger. Uh, I don't have anything else I want to get enchanted though, do I? It's already done. Oh, a ring, I suppose. What's the ring we're wearing? Magicka generates 20% faster. Yeah, so we could get that even higher. If we do a fresh one of those. And we've got a silver ring. The problem with these is, you can't, you're not going to have enough time to rename the badges. Let's just do it, shall we? Might as well. Right, I tell you what, we'll uh, Feeling sick? save it before we do it. Oh, you get a minute for this one, though.
Right, silver necklace. Fortify destruction. Grand soul gem. See if we can do it. Silver ring. Oh, we could have fortify destruction again, but we won't. Fortify magicka, fortify magicka regen. Ah! Oh. Fuck. Okay. I think, did I do all that in 60 seconds? I'm not sure if I did or not. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when I look at the ring. I didn't get to look at it before I made it. Thirty-one percent, yeah. So it did it. So instead of twenty, we've got thirty-one percent on that ring. We had twenty on the old one. Let's get on. Destruction necklace. Uh, got two of them now. That one. Although we'll put it on in a minute. We need to be careful. We don't sell the other one. How is that possible? Oh, because it's gold. I was going to say, that's got a bit of magic on it, but it's worth less, but it's because the other one's gold. Right, okay. Right, what can you buy off me? It seems that... Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I mean, how can he not buy scrolls off me when he sells them? It's annoying. I can buy these. Right, so we want to keep that one and sell him that one. And we want to sell him that silver necklace. Oh, for fuck's sake, how's he got no gold already? I'll tell you what, we could buy a Grand Soldier arm off him. That'll do. I keep forgetting to make Lydia these sort of things. You need to spend some time off camera doing that for her. Or off mic, as it is. Right, our work here is done. He has no more use for us. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Major's College in Lincoln. <laughs> well, my friend is wrong. Doing alright with that stamina, now that our armor weighs very little. Nearly making it to Bellathor's on one sprint. Patron of the great clan, battle for Let's go to the potions first. Nearly there, folks. Nearly there. About everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. What do you need, my friend? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Yeah, I'm getting decent money for just about everything, aren't I? <laughs> Which is why it's... They're running out of money super quick. Let's just see if she's got a blacksmith in one I can buy. Yeah, she's not at the moment, is she? Oh, 
I thought she always kind of had one. Like, every time you came back to her. Doesn't look like it, though, does it? She's not got the other one, either, for... Come back any time if you need a remedy. For the enchanting. Take a good look around, I'm sure. I mean, we're probably at a point now where we don't actually have to be Everything buying and selling at all. Odds and ends. That's got that much money that we're not going to get anything to spend it on anyway. We'll hang on to the nexuses and rings for now because we're using them for making stuffs. We'll keep that. Ah, get rid of those. I mean, look at that. We're getting 230 for all of those. Well, ten, well, 10 each, I suppose. Get rid of all the miners, I think. Go on, Bella, I thought you could have it for a deal. Do come back. Yes, I will. Right. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? We'll throw this mask in the chest and then we're good to go, people. For Christ's sake, only meant to come back for five minutes. Oh yeah, that weighs 0.5. I mean, each of these things seem to weigh, yeah, 0.3. Still slightly confused as to why I'm over a hundred in weight. But I've got a lot in here. Why have I got a fucking plate there? Ingots. Bought some ingots, didn't I? Gave bear pelts. That's down to 89, that's more like it. Right, let's go. That'll do nicely. Oh, hello. Good to go, Lydia. We'll worry about a new bow for you another time. I work with my. I know you work for your mother. Right. That's bought. Action time. Well, I mean, it could be action. All right, let's go. Let's head toward the what looks to be the big fort over there. Oh, hello. Fucking hell. Need to stop selling me bloody Nern roots. 
probably fulfill that. I think it might be a DLC quest, actually, but I could probably fulfill it if I hadn't sold all the Nern routes I'd been picking up until this point. By mistake, I might add. Look at that snow swirling about. Brilliant. Lower steep fall burrow. Yeah, it makes me wonder if I could have come through that cave and come out the other side of it. Bloody hell. A lot of you badges about. Actually, I'm not convinced that it is that place now. It's this place here, isn't it? Oh, hello. Cultists. Cultists galore. I, I kind of resent leaving the cultist robes behind because <laughs> worth so much coin. Come on now, there was a third one, wasn't there? The bloody hell did they go? There they are. Well, it's not actually there we're heading to, but that looks like something else to be interested in. Seems to be on the map, does it? Well, there's somebody at the gate. North Watch Keep. Now here's a thought. Oh, I've still got it on, have I? I'm taking it off. Yeah, extra speech craft. See if that does any good here. I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. It what is quite a shame if something caught fire. I well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Apart from it's not flames in my hand, my, my, my sword's got flames in it, I suppose. What is this place? That's privileged information. Now move along. Halt. I'm here for Thorol Greymane. Are you joking? Even if we had a prisoner by that name, the only way he'd be released is by order of the Imperial Legion. Now I suggest you turn around and go back the way you came. Uh hmm. All right then. Well that would suggest that I have to fight my way to him then. I want to know what that place is though. Not on the map, though, is it? Steady. You're going to tell me to turn back. Lydia's not following me, I don't think. I 
feel like it should be on my compass if it was something I could get to. Whoa. I'm really sure I was able to walk that. <laughs> Oh, it is on my it is on my compass now. Wow, what is this place? I have no memory of this place. Need to find a way in. Be able to get in over there. Castle Volkehar. Whoa, now. That would explain the gargoyles earlier. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Well, I suppose what's the worst that could happen? We're going to get up there and it won't let me in, aren't we? Dude, let me in. <laughs> You're not going to talk to me. Welcome here. Oh, I'm not now. Why not? Hey, Lydia. You caught up then. Could be a quest, of course, that I haven't activated yet. be a secret way in. Ah, now there's a, yeah, there's a tower down here. What does that say? Not very much. It does look like the left side of the beach has got a bit of a walkway around it. Nothing up here, Lydia. Sometimes you go to these places, you find little secret entrances, don't you? feel like this is not one of those places with the bloody height and size of this thing. Ooh, that's his das. Ah! Oh, hello. Bandits! Ow. 
Ow. Whoa. This guy's quite strong. Whoa, where'd he come from? A lot of coffins kicking around, maybe a vampire place, something like that. Who's this dude? Another one. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> Look like they're naked wearing boots and a helmet. Where are you going? Come here. Join the party yet, Lydia? Where are you? Found a way is a door. Well, there's a door anyway. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> Volkahar Undercroft requires a key. Well, I'm pretty sure none of them had it. I, I searched them all, I'm sure I did. I'm sensing that I don't have what I need to get into this place. I feel like it's a big place that should have a quest attached to it. Discovered it though, so at least we can teleport back to it. Just double check these guys. Well, or girls. It's hard to tell with skeletons, isn't it, I suppose? I think it's fair to say that there is no way into this place without a key. He says going for the never ending swim. So there's water coming out of that, look. Not a hidden passage under there or anything that I've missed. Check that out. Bloody whole ship under the water, look. Really? What's that? Clam? Didn't know you could do such a thing.
Jesus Christ. That just reminded me as to why Subnautica scared the living shite out of me every time I went under the water. Nah, we're hiding to nowhere here. So is that for miles all this rock stuff, doesn't it? Or is that me come all the way back round again? Is that what it is? Yeah. I think so. Right, well... Ow. What's happening? I feel like I can walk up there, but I can't. <laughs> give it in, Steve. Give it in. Right, okay. Well, I feel like the best thing I can do is... Oh, there's Lydia there. You've been swimming around that entire time, Lydia, trying to find a way to me. Well, I feel like in the next part we should just go hell for leather fighting those elves and get our asses handed to us. I feel like there was an option though to try and persuade them, but the guy's not for chatting to me, is he? Come on now. There you go. There's another marker there, actually, that we haven't discovered yet. I'll say what I didn't do. I still didn't heal myself from whatever ailment is on me that people keep saying I look ill from. Not been up to that, have we? Never have hypothermia by now, surely to God. I reckon. Ice water jet him in the name says it all. Can I get up, please? No. Nope. Ah, oh, God's sake. <laughs> Well, that could have saved me a whole bunch of fucking 15 minutes of swimming around. It'd probably take me to the front door, though, wouldn't it? I reckon. Let's try it. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a quest of some kind, isn't there? Yeah, because that's where they won't let us in. I see. Well, we'll know that for next time. <laughs> Oh, girl, blimey. Didn't even know you could get in a damn boat apart from going to that Dragonborn one, whatever it is, Salt Sign. Well, you learn something new every day. Well, I reckon in the next part, because we have reached an hour, people. 
I just ram into these people and try and save the guy by fighting my way through it. can always save it and then redo it if we're not happy with the outcome. But he's not for having a conversation about it, is he? So I think that's an ideal place to wrap it up. Straight into the action in the next part. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Skyrim. Dragon! <laughs> These dragons love interrupting me, don't they? Holy shit. There he is. Bo. Holy shit. Steady. Got him as well. Right, hang on. That said, my sword's a bit... Let's put the elven sword on so it's not fire. Oh, he doesn't like that much, does he? Shut up, you! I'm trying to fight a dragon, what are you doing? Apart from nothing at all. Nice. Oh, hello. Need you to land your badger. Shooting at. It's gone up again. Okay, now. Woo! Ah, that's a bear. Whoa! And I captured a, a soul as well. Dragon soul absorbed. Whew, it was exciting, Lydia, wasn't it? I've got your back. I am sworn to Let's see what this guy says when he comes over. Burdens. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? It may be dead now, but By the gods, I don't even know what to say. All right. You lead, I'll follow. Uh Let's see what these guys are saying. By the gods, I don't even know what to say. They're all kind of the same. By the gods, I don't even know what to say. Well, apart from you'll try and kill me when I go in your keep. It may be dead now, but where did it come it's from? really dead then? It's really dead then? I'm here for Th 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 Thorald. Even if you had a prisoner by that name, the only way he'd be released is by order of the Imperial Legion. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who the Imperial Legion are. 
Or is it the Imperial Army? Is that what he's talking about? Well, killing the dragon seems to have made them all go a bit... ...away from their posts. Failed. Find a way to release Thoral from the thermal custody. Rescue Thoral from the watch keep. All right, okay. Shit. <laughs> right, okay. So there's several ways to do this then. I've, I've only found... Uh... Okay, well, that seems like an ideal place to wrap it up. Looks like we're going to rescue him rather than uh, find a way to free him. It has been an honour and a privilege, as I was saying before the dragon really interrupted me. Playing on Skyrim again for you once again, and I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.